Hi foxes, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Brittany. I am also known as Shop Foxboro on Poshmark, Instagram, and Etsy, and today I have a little vintage haul for you. I went to one of my favorite little vintage stores over the weekend and I loaded up on stuff that I'm actually mostly going to be taking to my new booth um, at a local clothing consignment store. The clothing store is called MNC Consignment and I have a little booth full of vintage goodies there and I just want to add some more things to it, especially some colors and just fun stuff and dresses and skirts and all that good stuff. Um, so forgive my squeaky chair, but it is squeaky. And forgive the stomping sounds from my children running upstairs. We are just doing this haul while I have time. So we're just going at it fresh faced. I'm not, you know, putting on any airs for you guys today. So the first, where did they go? Okay. All right. Well, they fell off. So the first thing um, I picked up was four pairs of earrings. And actually, I'll show you this little basket first. I'm not sure if I'm going to list this or keep this because it's so cute, but it's just this little like elephant basket. And I just think it's super adorable and it has like the little hanger bit on the back. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but I completely love it. Um, and I think I paid like a dollar for that. So. so I got four pairs of earrings. The first pair is these triangle little like and they're pretty heavy so I think that they're kind of like a um they're copper look but I doubt they're coppered or they'd have like more patina but they have this little like engraved fan print down here at the bottom I really liked those next is two pair of cloison earrings yeah cloison cloisonne I don't remember how to say it anyway um these are actually clip-ons they have little butterflies on them and these I'm going to be putting in my booth. I just thought that they were really cute. The next pair is like a, a hoop um, enameled earring. I just thought that these were really cute. They just are a floral design um, but just like a half hoop. Those are going to be going into my booth. And the last pair of earrings is actually, I am going to be keeping. These are these little fan earrings. So these are little fan earrings and they are articulating. So the fans like open and close. And I just thought that was the coolest thing ever. And they have these little like tassels down here. And then the back is actually printed with like a different motif and these are definitely keepers for me so I love these so much but um, yeah I just thought those were really cool it completely sold me on them that they were articulating and I just can't get them off. Next up I found this pair of shoes it's actually not marked what the size is but I thought that they were just really cute they are a little like 50s 60s heels by socialites um and i held them up to my foot and i think that they're about my size i'm going to say like a seven to an eight something like that but i'm going to try them on see if i can't figure out the sizing um but just a cute little pump and i love that like burgundy cranberry red color i think that's going to be really cute for fall those I will actually sell online because I feel like there is a broader audience for shoes online than there is locally. So we are going to go ahead and list those there. The next is this little collar. Um, I've actually been looking for one of these for a while, so I don't know if I'm going to sell it or not. But this one has the hook and eye at the neck. 
and it would just go over like a cardigan, um, like a beaded cardigan, and just add that little like touch to um, an outfit. And I believe this is rabbit. It's not mink, so pretty sure it's rabbit fur. But I just thought that, you know, with the built-in hook um, and it just like sitting perfectly, I just really liked that. Next up, these will also go online. This is a pair of vintage 1970s Levi's. They are, it is a ski suit. So it's a corduroy um, zipper pocket, like elastic sides, elastic back pair of overalls and they are aligned and then on the inside they have the um, like snow protector so it doesn't get into your boots and I just think these are awesome totally love them I did find another pair online of the exact same um, overalls and they were going for or they were listed for I think a hundred or 125 something like that everyone loves a good overall and I was very excited to find those Next up, these will, this will be going into my booth. Um, I will actually probably alter this a bit. Uh, so this is a vintage 1950s skirt. You can see it has the metal zipper with the hook and eyes on the side. Um, but someone took this in at the waist. You can see back here there are some darts. And there were actually originally darts there, but they were a lot smaller. So I may let this out so that it can fit a little bit bigger waist because as it is right now, I think it's probably like a 27. Um, and I feel like it might be better if it were a little bit bigger. But I liked the trim here and the buttons and the little um, yellow color. And this is not in perfect condition, but it is a nice little skirt. So next up we have a 1960s skirt and this is a bright orange pencil skirt with, let's see if I can show you, a fringed front seam and buttons down the front and it is new old stock so that means that it is new with tags um, but it's vintage. And new old stock doesn't have to be in perfect condition. If it has its original tags, it hasn't been worn, it's new old stock. Even if it has like a stain or two from storage or some sun fade, something like that, it's still new old stock. You still want to disclose that, but it's not quite the same like um, as modern new with tags because it doesn't carry that same like perfect condition qualifier that new with tags does. So this is 100% two-ply cotton, and it's just like a woven, and I thought that was just so cute for um, summertime. So that's going to go in my booth. This next one I was very excited to find. This is also going to be going in my booth. It is not in perfect condition. I have a little bit of fixing to do. It's got some pulls at the seams. Um, but it is just this 1950s little blue polka dot dress, the high neckline. The back has these little like tie bows here. It has the metal zipper. This is a rayon fabric um, with like a textured weft to it. So you can kind of see the like texture of the fabric. Um, but again, it does have some little like issues that I have to work on. And, you know, so many people, they see the belt loops on vintage clothes and they're like, oh, it must have had a belt. This is literally a string, but this is what it came with originally. And that is what we have now. So it's the same color. It matches. We're sticking with it. Uh, but yeah, sometimes vintage belts were questionable. This next piece is a vintage 50s skirt. It is metal side zipper with double button closure and it is just black velvet. Um, and it's not like a full circle, but it is a nice full skirt. 
is washing out the frame wicked bad, but suffice to say, it's just a solid black velvet skirt, um, a little bit longer than knee length. And that will be going in my booth as well. Next up is a vintage dress that I will sell myself online. Um, again, black, solid black with um, just like a textured bodice and then like a nylon semi sheer, very full circle skirt. It has the metal zipper in the back and there is a Bonwit Teller um, tag somewhere in this dress in a seam, um, but it is, that was a department store um, and definitely a higher end department store. So this m came from there. It may have actually been custom made because they did do custom pieces back in the day. Um, here we go. So this is this is the old Bonwit Teller tag that is in the bottom side seam of the dress. And again, I will sell this um, on Etsy. Next up is another 50s dress. This one will require a little bit of steaming and love, but it is a lands dress and I absolutely love lands. They are a vintage brand. They became really popular in the 70s, but they have some really good 50s pieces too. This is just like kind of a taffeta piece, uh, metal zipper in the back, and it's got like this bow front here. Again, needs to be seamed out. The bow needs to be tacked down. Um, but other than that, it's in pretty nice condition. So after a little bit of love, I think that this will be a really pretty one. I am not sure if I will put this in my booth or online. It is kind of a specific style, so I may sell it online um, just because of the larger audience reach. I love this. This is a 1970s corduroy dress very much in line with that like cottage core aesthetic that's going around now. It was a ready to wear piece. You can see the paper tag here. It says hand wash, um, exclusive of trimming. And it is just a corduroy dress, a little bit faded. It's got these cute pockets on the front. It ties at the back of the waist. It's got, um, Eyelet trim down here on the bottom. Just a really cute little piece with these giant buttons in the front and I really like that. Next is another one that I thought kind of went with that cottage core aesthetic. Here is the tag. It is Miss, Miss Fashionality. Um, but I just really liked this embroidered front and the high ruffled neckline. It has kind of that like 80s new romantic vibes. Um, this one I think was actually from the 70s, but it is embroidered here and just a pretty delicate pink color. This one is a very worn vintage, um, sort of boho-y blouse and it does have like the little, ta little not tassel, but, um, front that ties like the peasant style top. It is by a brand called Cloud Mates. And it does have a bit of pilling, but I just thought it was really cool. It's got that major like 70s vibes to it. So um, even though I think it's from the 80s, it's definitely got that look. Okay, last couple of pieces. This one is by The Cottage for Junior Petites. Um, and it is just a sweet little 50s top. It is a blue plaid um, long sleeve with this cute little tie neck here. It zips almost all the way up the back and it has these very interesting little like belt ties, but they're under the arms and it's only got it on one side. So I don't know what that is, but I just thought it was cute. I thought it was 
something that would look good like tucked into a skirt or with jeans and so I picked that up. The next one is a gauze piece. It is by Oh My Gauze, <laughs> which I thought was funny, but I just love the magenta color and the ruched sleeves. It's a little bit simple, but I think it'll be um, just the right aesthetic for the type of people who like to shop at the store where I have my booth. Then I picked up this little teal number. I'm not sure if I will like this for myself or not, but I really liked the embroidery here at the collar. And here is the tag. And it's just a nice like teal color. It's actually a lot more vibrant than it is um, on film, but it is a button down with a lot of gathering in the back and you could button it um, up to here but it's not like a Peter Pan collar even though it's got this little curved collar it's it's split here so okay and last piece this one I picked up because it was a bit of a larger size I haven't done measurements yet but I'm gonna say this is probably like a good size 14 maybe um, and it is a 1960s dress it's got the metal side zipper here and it's this really nice textured wool woven almost plaid it has like a little kick pleat here in the back and I think this is just gonna be really cute with like a blouse layered under it for the fall it uh, has a facing but it is not fully lined it does have a tag but the only thing on the tag is the words imported fabric so i don't know where it was imported from um but it even it has pockets you guys so i, I should really love this piece this will definitely be one i sell in my poshmark closet um because i am trying to get that focus on sizes that are uh, past the size 12 I think that that's going to be like a really cute, fun vintage edition. Okay, so that does it for my little mini vintage haul that I grabbed over the weekend. Um, again, some of this stuff is going to go in my booth, so you won't see it filter into my Poshmark closet, but a couple of things are going to be ending up on Poshmark, on Etsy, um, and then a couple of things I haven't really decided yet. Uh, but let me know down in the comments what your favorite piece was from this haul and if there was anything that you wouldn't have picked up. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and go ahead and subscribe if you like reselling or fashion content or vintage content because that's sort of what I do here on this channel and I would love to have you as a new subscriber. And I hope that I will see you for my next video. I do try and put out videos two times a week on Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern as long as I am able. And I hope that I will see you for my next one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.